Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com at uh, uh, World of Concrete in Las Vegas. This is the day before the show. Meet Dante Thomas. He's a uh, supervisor for uh, sales and uh, marketing for attachments and Caterpillar's BCP, Building and Construction Products Group. Dante, thank you so much for taking the time to Thanks meet with us me. before the show. Absolutely. Uh, a new hammer, a, kind of a, a new uh, line of hammers uh, for Caterpillar uh, to fit smaller machines. Talk about uh, what um, what we're looking at here today and, and why that's something important to, for folks at home. So what we're looking at now is the B line of hammers. As you know, we have an H prefix breaker that we already have and we're introducing a different line of breakers. We're extending that family down from the larger GCI, General Construction Industry products, to having a similar product for the BCP size machines. So we have a new hammer for our skister loaders, compact track loaders, multi-terrain loaders, mini hydraulic excavators that go up to 8 ton, and then also for our backhoe loaders that are behind us. So what sets this breaker apart from the breakers that folks are used to, to buying from Caterpillar? This one's a little bit different that we talk about value. We want to make sure that for our customers, they have the right value for the product that they're looking for. Our H line of breakers are designed for productivity, they're designed for customers that are breaking more than 50% of the time, and they're looking for a very aggressive application. Whereas the B, it's still going to continue to give you that stronger performance, but the features are a little bit different to enable you to have a better life cycle value, and as well as to continue to give you a very good performing breaker. Okay, what differences are people gonna notice? Uh, let me start with the commonalities first. So what okay. you're gonna continue to expect from Caterpillar is going to be the quality, you're going to see a bracket design that is interchangeable between the H line and the B line. Mm. You're, you're also going to find that the, the flows and the pressures are going to be very similar. When you get down to the differences, is as you're looking at a value store hammer, this one's going to be gas fire. And then you're also going to look at as well as certain features like automatic shutoff. It's not going to be a feature on this breaker as it would be on an H. Okay. Is that, a, is that an option on larger uh, B model hammers, the, the, uh, the auto shutoff? They, you have a combination, some are standard, some are optional, okay. and then on all the H's, automatic shutoff is standard. So the casing is different in terms of the style, uh, in terms of trying to deliver the quality as the customer is breaking the material, we've reinforced the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, a tool, very similar, we have a broad selection of tools depending on the type of materials you have, yeah. whether it's a, a blunt tool or a, a chisel, one of the ones we have, or a pyramid or, or a star point mm -hmm. as well. We, we've tried to make this solution as interchangeable as possible so that whether you're moving this breaker from a mini hydraulic excavator or to a uh, backhoe loader or to a skid steer, the brackets are interchangeable. Yeah. If you want to take this one off and if you have a mixed fleet of machines, you can also use the same bracket and put an H on there as well. One thing that you will see in terms of productivity difference is the amount of impact energy that a B will deliver compared to an equivalent of an H. Really? And an H is looking to be one of the harder hammer, harder hitting hammers in the industry. Yeah. And as you look at a B, it's going to be maybe a breaker to breaker comparison, anywhere between 150 to 200 foot pounds lower. But that's okay. also part of that value story that we're trying to provide an option for every customer and the needs that they have.